Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for March. This is the second reading for March. We're just going to see what comes up. This is for Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, this reading may or may not be for you, okay? If you don't believe, then it probably isn't for you. So, let's see what comes up for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, when I say Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus... It, you know, your sun sign, star sign, most of you know what that is. That would be when you look up your horoscope. Then um, the moon sign or the rising sign or the Venus sign of, of Pisces as well. This might even be for Mars as well, if you have your Mars and Pisces. But let's just see what we got here for Pisces. It's funny that I said that. And I don't usually say that. Um, but Anyway, we're going to get one of these and we're going to use that deck right there. Truth. Truth. Truth is very important, isn't it? Because the eye sees everything. I'm going to read this card. We're going to say... See what the book has to say about that one. We're going to read it right now, too. We're not even going to wait on that one. In front of a dramatic sky. You might as well just zoom that right in, huh? In front of a dramatic sky, this card shows a mirror image of a warrior woman meeting her own reflection. With swords drawn, it seems conflict may be near. But the all-seeing eye of truth presides, serving as a poignant reminder that what is done to another is ultimately done to the self. Oh, my God. There I go, rubbing my heart again. <laughs> The double-edged sword, capable of separation and liberation, symbolizes dual powers of nature, such as life, death, and victory, defeat. Like a sword, truth is a sharp instrument worthy of the greatest respect. Depending on how they are wielded, both have the ability to destroy or heal. Only the maturity and wisdom of the user determines the outcome. I'm literally pressing on my heart. Whew. In tarot, the suit of swords represents navigation of thought in the unseen realm of the mind. But when it comes to the application of truth, the unruly mind cleverly justifies all manner of things and distracts us away from our alignment to love. Fear poses many challenges along the path to discovering the liberation of truth. Reactions of others' guilt and insecurity distract and rob us of the opportunity to clearly identify the truth of the matter. Oh my God. Bravely face your fears. Step into the light of love and examine the essence of the situation. Rather than facing facts, perhaps you have been in a state of avoidance. I ain't making this shit up either, and I know you guys don't want to hear this, but it's all right here, okay? I'm not making this up. If this is the case, it could be a reminder to sort from the wheat, from the, from the chaff, or the chaff, so you can clearly, so that you can see clearly to move beyond the gravitational pull of old patterns. You may also be searching for the reality behind your relationships to others or the deeper meaning of life and your place and purpose in it. Seeking the truth is a worthy quest on any level and you can provide a significant opportunity for liberation and growth. Understanding how truth applies to you at this time is relevant. We got for Pisces. My uh, I'm 
I don't know if I should tell you this, but I'm going to. My new love interest, his moon is in Pisces. So we'll see if that changes things. He's a Capricorn, and his moon is in Pisces, which kind of scares me, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um... Nine of Pentacles. Oh, there's been lack of truth. The magician reversed. There's been deception. I mean, the magician reversed. There's there's lies and manipulation. The hangman uh, reversed, which is good. This is you. Uh, facing the struggle, dealing with the pain, uh, making a decision accepting something coming out of your period of limbo perhaps you're ready to face some sort of struggle you know it's like the ice is melting maybe you're you're deciding that it's time to stand up and do something the eight of wands reverse there's been a lack of communication or a block in communication a lack of movement Maybe there's been no messages coming in. You know, there's been no, there's been a lack of, of communication here. Maybe even blocked communication. The Nine of Pentacles is about, it's the time is now. The time is ripe. You see the grapes are ripe. He's picking. It's time to pick. It's time to pick. Now the Nine of Pentacles, that's a, that's a person. It could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. could be anybody, but it's, it's time. It's time to pick. It's time to choose. It's time to, you know get your rewards for all the hard work that you have done or the other person this could be you or the person that you're dealing with this is an independent person who is very self-sufficient takes care of business can grow anything and that's why i said it's a pentacles i mean this is a pentacles anyway this is somebody who is very nurturing very um successful so you have a successful individual here whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with but with a magician next to it, there's somebody hasn't taken action. They haven't shed their old ways. There's been lies. There's been deception. There's been manipulation. And it feels like now somebody is probably coming out of that. You know, somebody's been keeping their secrets. They, they have. There's been some hidden agendas here. They've been keeping secrets. And it's like uh, maybe somebody has decided, I'm ready because the hangman is reversed. It's like getting unstuck. Somebody has been staying in a place of limbo, sacrificing time, wasting time, maybe being a martyr, you know, for who knows what, trying to prove themselves. Somebody's been trying to prove themselves. Maybe it's like, I don't have anything to prove anymore, you know. This is a lack of communication, though. Something has been stalled, and I think it's because somebody was trying to prove a point or something. Maybe they were going through a period of growth. Using silence as a tool. There is a person here that is very cold and withdrawn. <laughs> There is, there is, and I feel like this person is, is neglectful and is hurtful. I mean, we have the King of Swords reverse and the King of Wands reverse. We got somebody here who's very self-centered and egotistical. Son of a bitch, I'm, I can't, I'm not sure if I can even deal with that. So, um... Somebody has a huge ego. They do. They have a huge ego. They don't care who they hurt. Remember, what you do to others will be done to you. And I'm not just saying that it's just you. It could be the other person that you're dealing with. We have a masculine here. So if you're the woman watching this, I mean, we have, this is, these are, you know, we have a masculine here that is kind of uh, greedy, self-centered, and kind of ruthless. This person is 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 hurtful. Uh, that's all I got to say about that. 
And I feel like we, we have somebody here that is very intuitive, somebody is, that is a healer, somebody that um, is seeing things absolutely clearly about manipulation, about deception, about who this person really is. It's like, I, I see who you are. I do see who you are. I see right through you. So I really feel like, you know, that's the truth. The truth is, I see right through you. Do a cops reversed. Next to the six of, six of Wands being recognized. Somebody is being recognized for their hard work. And whoever this person is, whether it's the person that you're dealing with, this person gets a lot of recognition. This person is, is a healer. This person is... Um, you know, she's putting her crown on. They're putting a crown on this person. She's being crowned for her success, for her hard work. She's got a crown. So I feel like who somebody is being recognized for who they are. And this man may be angry. This man may be upset. This man is not happy about this other person's success, the progress that they have made, the abundance that they have obtained. We could have some jealousy here. Oh my God. Yeah. Four of Wands. Unhappiness. Four of Wands reverse. Somebody is not happy perhaps about another person's um, success. That's what I see. That's not happy about another person's success. This is a self-centered, egotistical individual who um, has a lot of pride, and their pride has gotten in the way of a partnership. Okay, so I mean, we have a we have a. a a union that a breakup or something that is probably that has happened or is going to happen because of neglect there's been some neglect here and I feel like there's been there's been I mean communication is key in a relationship and there's been no communication. There's been a lack of communication or very little communication or no communication and it's like, therefore, there's really no partnership. If there's no communication, there's no partnership. There's no happiness. There's no commitment. And I feel like somebody now knows, somebody sees the situation clearly, that there's no partnership here. It was a lie. It was a lie. It was all a lie. And I feel like <clears throat> because this person sees that it was all a lie, and this person is being silent and keeping to themselves and they're seeing the situation clearly. They are being recognized for their ability to heal themselves and heal others through their own struggles. Whatever that means. Anyway. Um, there is definitely a feeling of unhappiness over a breakup, over a union that is no more. This is there's no more there's no more there's no more union here. But one of these people is victorious. One of these people is still successful. One of these people is being recognized. One of these people is is being given a crown for their abilities to triumph over adversity, to break free from an abusive situation, seriously. This is independence. So I feel like we have somebody here that has become independent there's been some sort of split. There's been some sort of breakup. There's been some sort of, uh, you know, unhappiness. But they have overcome it. They've overcome this loss. And I feel like they have found their own power. They've woken up. They went through some sort of awakening. They've healed. 
I feel like somebody is healed with silence. Uh, I think that they were put into, you know, given the silent treatment. They were given the silent treatment by another person. You know, they were, they were given the silent treatment. This other person thought that they were hurting them. They thought that they were proving a point. They thought that, you know, they were going to, you know, come out on top when in fact the person on the other end is on top. The other person is the one that is more abundant and has become victorious. That's what it looks like to me. So I really feel like many of you are using used or ha or are using your period of solitude, your period of silence, your period of reflection to progress to a much better place and you are recognized for your healing abilities. I see that there's a better opportunity for love here. Um and you may be realizing that maybe you finally or the other person, somebody in this dynamic, whether it's you or the partner, has realized that there's a better opportunity for love. Seriously. And maybe that's why there was a breakup, because you realize there's a better opportunity. And I think this is kind of like a recent, a recent breakup. I do. I think it's recent. I don't think it's from a long time ago. Could be. It could be. But I feel like there's been some recent breakup that, you know, has happened because somebody is realizing that there is a better opportunity. A more stable, solid opportunity. Something more practical, something more um, fruitful, something more fertile. I think there's a, a new realization that there's no need for me to... Um, neglect myself by holding on to a lie so anyway i feel like you guys have a new opportunity coming in it may be coming in slowly maybe you're making the offer i don't know this is a new opportunity it's a it's a it's a it's an opportunity that you can save but it's a slow moving process it's not something that is going to happen overnight um, I think there's a, just a, a slow progression here of realizing there's something better. I know there's something better. I think that there was in a, somebody was involved in a situation that was abusive and there's been a split and there's a new found realization that there's a better opportunity. There is a better opportunity here. Um, could be with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Could be with you know, this one's reversed, so this is no. That's a no. That one's reversed, too. I'm not going to say them if they're in reverse because that's not a good energy. It's not. could be with... It could be with anybody, but so far I see the most positive energy around the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, the devil reversed could be a Capricorn. Interesting. Anyway, um, this is taking back control. This is taking back control. When you get the devil reverse, it's restoring control in a situation. It's facing your demons. It's, it's, it's removing the toxins. It's removing yourself from a toxic situation. It's over. Now, the Four of Swords to me is the, is the death of an idea. It's, it's, it's a time of recuperation. It's a time of healing. It's a time of um, hibernation, perhaps, so that you can take back your power, take back control of a situation, take back control of your life. I feel like there's been a commitment or a foundation or something that, because fours are foundations, there's been some sort of um, shift there's been some sort of breakup that is now allowing you to go within and focus on yourself so that you can regain your crown and regain your control of your life. I think there's been some upheaval. I think there's been a breakup or a loss of a relationship. And now it's a period of healing and hibernation and coming back to oneself. You know, that's what it looks like. I think somebody has been in an abusive situation that it is over with and it's a time of healing and it's a time of of 
really working on you. I think it's a time of working on you. Um, I do feel like there's an offer or there's an opportunity on the outskirts. But like I said, it's slow, slow moving. Whoever this person is, I mean, this is reciprocation. This is give and take. It's you give what you get, you get what you give. Same kind of energy. It's generosity. You, you. This is uh, equality. This is... Um, I'm just looking at this real quick. If you put in effort and give it time, it will work out. Because you notice there's six pentacles here, but he's dropping two. So that makes it the eight of pentacles. Hard work pays off. But it takes time. It takes time to climb that ladder. It takes time to get the success. It takes time to build. So I feel like if you give to the situation, even a little bit at a time, because these are littles, these are littles. These are little, you know, it will grow. It will grow into something bigger. So I feel like you have somebody... That may want something from you. They may want just a little bit of your time. Or they may want a little bit of something. And it looks like you may be, be being called to just to give. Give a little. Give a little. To get what you deserve, you have to give. You get, like I said, it's about give and take. And it, and it goes with that truth card. You, it does. What I read at the beginning. It's funny, I posted a quote on Facebook today. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Same kind of energy. Nine of Wands. This is perseverance. Don't give up. Hard work true, truly does pay off. I feel like for many of you, um, there's a lot of doubt. There's a lot of fear in your head. But look how far you've come. Look how far you've come. I, I feel like you guys have a lot of confidence and you have a lot of strength to persevere. But to bring success, you have to follow your intuition 100%. If you deny your intuition, you will not get what you deserve. You will not manifest. You're, you're tricking yourself. You're lying to yourself. This is lying to yourself. This is self. This is you. This is represented by you as well. The High Priestess does represent you. Two, the month of February, it's very intuitive. You know what you got to do, but some of you, is it's like you're, you're deceiving. This is deception, it is. Somebody is deceiving themselves by not following their intuition. It's like they're trying to scare somebody away. I don't know why. Because trying to protect. Somebody is trying to protect themselves from getting hurt. You need to let your guard down. This is like misjudging a situation. Somebody is misjudging a situation. Being overly critical when they shouldn't be. Hmm. Now, this is the Prince of Cups. This is basically the Knight of Cups reversed. No follow through. This is no follow through in love. It's like a, it's like fake. It's, it's not real. Somebody hasn't followed through in their offers of love and he notice it's right here with this and now there's distrust there's distrust because somebody doesn't follow through
They talk to talk, but they don't walk the walk. There's definitely been some sort of lie here, and there's been a lot of sneaky behavior. that has caused a person not to trust and to criticize everybody in their path. There's a loss of abundance. There's a loss of security. <laughs> a loss of a relationship here. I feel like somebody didn't own up to their end of the bargain emotionally and now there's a relationship that has basically fallen apart and there's been a lot of fighting there's been a lot of feuding Because somebody had hidden agendas here. I mean, they did. And somebody has walked away. Somebody has walked away into independence. I mean, we all know the Nine of Pentacles is independence. On your own. You're on your own, baby, right? You're on your own. And somebody, be, they've walked away and they're, and they're doing, they're being recognized. We got somebody here that's being recognized in a big, big way. And there's jealousy. There's jealousy because this person is becoming successful after a loss. Oh, and it's not good news. Somebody has not received good news about... It could be a family member. could be... Uh, partnership that they were hoping to reconcile with or it could have been somebody's giving to somebody else somebody has received some bad news that they've lost something good they've lost stability Oh my God. And this has all happened. It has how it's all happened. Because it was too heavy for you, Pisces. Whatever this loss is, it was it was too heavy for you to carry anyway. It was too heavy for you to carry. It was too big. It was too burdensome. It was too much. This is making a conscious change to drop the heavy load, drop the burdens, drop what you don't need to carry. Only bring what you need. This is this is making a conscious change. Your balance awaits. Whatever has fallen apart has fallen apart because you don't need it. That's what I. Well, that's that's what I'm trying to say. You don't need it anymore. You have a better opportunity over here. You do. You've got a better opportunity with somebody that's actually going to work with you. Somebody who's going to give to you, but you got to give to them too. Takes equal give and take. So you do have a better opportunity, but you absolutely got to invest in it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be patient, and you gotta give it time. I mean, it feels to me like somebody doesn't want to have patience. They don't really want to give. If you don't give, you're not gonna get. And that's why that card. I read that card first. And all the readings I've done, I have not read that card first. You, you get what you give, and it feels like somebody's not investing in growth. They're not putting in the effort they need for a relationship to blossom. If you want something to blossom and grow, you gotta put a lot of effort into it. It's not, it can't be one-sided.
yeah, somebody's not taking action. They're not moving forward. They're not, it's like thinking too much, not taking action. Therefore, they're losing out on a love connection. So, oh, bastard. Um, somebody could, is, is either going through a breakup or they've gone through a breakup. There's a lot of indecision here. There's conflicts. A lot. I see a lot of conflicts. Fighting. Bickering. Going back and forth. Just incompatibility. The two of cups with reversed and the lovers reversed. That's incompatibility. And it's incompatible because somebody's been lying and being unrealistic and not taking action and not communicating. Trying to prove a point when all they had to do was communicate and work together to make it work. There is an opportunity for happiness. Thank the God. Thank Lord. Thank the Lord. Um, there is. There's an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity for blessings. There's an opportunity for this storm to be over and for you to be happy again. There is. There's an opportunity to come together with somebody that really has something to offer you. But you're going to... This is being unrealistic. You And you got to... You have to be realistic. You have a new beginning here. Endings bring new beginnings. This is the world card. Now with these tens, you have like three tens here too. Completion, 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 completion. I mean, like I could count four of them right here. Okay, we got four completions. A couple of them are reversed though because I feel, and, and well, I don't feel, I know that you guys are letting go of things that don't serve you. And there may be a little bit of animosity for some reason, but it feels like whatever is ending, whatever is over, the worst is over because happiness is coming. This is this is a lesson learned. The world card is a lesson learned. It looks like you guys have learned some sort of lesson about what happiness really is. I don't know. I don't know. This is a new beginning. This is. It means one phase of your life is over. The phase of I hope it's the phase of not communicating. I mean, that's the only thing. I mean, I really hope that's the phase that's over. The silent treatment will get you nowhere. Just saying. Anyway. Um, oh, the freaking tens. Ten, ten, ten. Com I'm telling you what. Something is over. Something is over. And, it, and there is going to be... A major new beginning here because one of one chapter of your life has completely come to an end it's like the door is being shut and it, and it feels like this is almost feels like it's a crowning it's a party of some sort so there could be a party that comes out of this I'm not sure what this is Maybe you celebrate your newfound independence because this is independence. This is independence. Maybe you're just like, you know, I'm so happy to be, be independent. That's, you know, that could certainly be the case. I do see that feel like somebody has become independent. They've become single after being in a partnership because, and I think they become single because there was so much fighting. There was so much bickering. There was so many, so much feuding because there was lack of communication and a lack of give it there wasn't equal give and take in the relationship and I feel like there may have even been some illness because of that that ten of wands can be illness there may have been some illness that has that hindered growth in a relationship but I feel like that phase is over and you guys have a new beginning with with somebody that really has something stable to offer you. You have a new beginning here. There's no doubt. It's coming. But it's coming slowly. 
It is coming slowly. There's a delay. There's a delay. There is a delay in this arrival, and it's because you guys have just gotten over something. There's a period of healing that is needed. Needed. There's a period of restoring control with that devil reverse of taking back control of your life and getting your shit back together. It's like things have been in an uproar. You know, you got to get your shit back together. It takes a minute, right? So that's what it looks like to me. Yeah, it's a period of healing. It's a period of introspection, a period of solitude to, you know, reflect. So I feel like you guys are going through a period of reflection right now. You're going through a period of healing. You're going through a period of enlightenment. You're facing your demons. I feel like you're taking back control. You're probably, uh, if you're not single, you may be considering becoming single. Um, or you're going to become single or something like that. Um, and you probably have somebody who wants a little bit of your time. And you're just be, you know, give them a little bit of your time. Give them a little bit of your time. I don't know. Do whatever you want. But anyway, um, we do have a new beginning here that could lead to permanent love. It could lead to happiness. It could lead to marriage even with that Ten of Cups. It could. It could lead to extreme happiness. But the first step is recognizing who you are again, you know. So I think that's what process, I think that's where you're at right now. Is, is regaining structure, regaining control after being in perhaps a fake, false relationship of some sort. You know, with that Prince of Cups reversed next to that magician. Somebody was living some sort of lie. And I think that, you know, they weren't getting emotional um, fulfillment. They weren't getting the love. And, you know, now, now we got a healing process that's going to lead you down a new path towards... A big, huge new beginning that could lead to permanent love. That's what I see. But I feel like this month is a month of hibernation. Seriously. It really is. Alone. Me. I gotta take care of me right now. That's what I see. Good luck. <laughs>